Hey folks, welcome back to Gear and Gadget Reviews. I am Brian, and today I'm gonna to show you a little project that I'm doing with my two 100 amp hour Unowix batteries. So these batteries are 12 volts. I need to convert them to a 24 volt bank battery by connecting these two in series. I wish it were as simple as just wiring these terminals up and you're on your way and you're good to go. But unfortunately, it's not quite that simple, but I'm gonna show you guys the easiest method that I know how to do in order to ensure these are top balanced and you connect them properly to, to create a 24 volt system. So just imagine these two batteries, you plug them into the charger, you get them completely full all the way to the top. You think that these have the exact same state of charge and they're probably very close and they're probably good enough. I want these to be as dead on equal as possible because if you think about it if you have one battery up here and one battery down there in terms of state of charge and you connect them together this battery is always going to discharge first and it's never going to fully charge because this battery up here when you charge it is going to hit the top of the state of charge curve faster and so this battery is always going to kind of be behind and you don't want that because that means that this battery over here is going to die faster you know five or ten years down the road but let me just say guys i'm not a professional at this there's a lot of other youtube channels that that go into great detail on how to top balance and it gets really complicated and i'm just going to show you folks what I think is going to be the best method to do this, and there's going to be guys out there that tell me I'm completely wrong, and that's fine. I'm telling you I'm not a pro. So I did charge both of these batteries up completely separate. They are fully charged. However, when I go test the batteries, they have a little bit different volt. And in all honesty, it's not that much difference, and I could probably still hook these up in series, and I would be fine. I want to show you folks the difference because these are both charged up. I'm using my Victron Smart charger, which is a great charger, but they're still a little different. So I'm gonna use my multimeter. I'm just gonna test my voltage. We're at 13.56. I doubt you can see that, but I don't have three hands. This battery over here, I'm at 13.49. So they're just, a, they're just slightly different in terms of voltage. So in order to get these things ready to go, ready to be hooked up into series, I'm gonna hook them up in parallel and let them balance themselves out. Once these are set up in parallel, I'm gonna show you how you can kinda watch them balance themselves out using a clamp meter. Now you don't have to have this. You can, you can just hook these up in parallel and honestly probably let them sit for as long as you can, two days, three days, two weeks, and they'll eventually balance themselves out and then you can charge them up fully and you can have a pretty good idea that these are both top balanced and both equal in terms of state of charge. Why am I doing this? Why, why do I why do I want to do 24 volt battery bank? Well, because I'm going to be hooking these up to this solar all-in-one hybrid inverter. Uh, I bought this a few weeks ago and I, and I don't have a 24 volt battery and this uses a 24 volt battery. I'll do another complete full detail video on this thing. It's basically like my big solar generator carts that I've been building, but in a box that big. It goes on a wall. It's got your 3000 watt inverter, pure sign inverter. It's got 40 amp MPPT solar charge controller, ACN, AC. It's got everything that my carts have. You just hang it on the wall and then this is a very compact package. But I'll do a, a completely different review on that. But I wanted to use these Unowix batteries because I've been using one of these batteries in my storage unit with a very small inverter. And anytime I go in there, I turn, you know, I have the, the inverter hooked up to a light and a fan. And those things work great. So I wanted to get another one to hook it up to use it in a 24 volt system to use on this 24 volt solar hybrid inverter. So in order to hook these things, these batteries up in parallel, which is going to maintain 12 volts, but double the capacity. So when you hook a battery up in parallel, you're, it, this will be a 12 volt, 200 amp hour battery. But again, I need a 24 volt. So I'm hooking these up in parallel first to balance themselves out. So to do that, you just hook up positive to positive, negative to negative. And that's as simple as, and we're gonna hook up the positive cable first. Okay, now we're gonna hook up the negatives. Okay, so this battery is now wired in parallel and I can show you that it's still holding 12 volts. So we're at 13.54 volts right now. Again, you don't have to use these, but I've got a clamp meter and I'm going to measure the current flowing through this negative line. And as soon as it gets to around zero, I know that these batteries have balanced themselves out. Showing about 0.62. So there is current flowing between one of these batteries. Now we want this number to get as close to zero as possible because that's gonna mean that there is no current flowing once these batteries 
balance themselves out. You can see this number here. It's actually at 0.8 now. So I'm gonna let this sit for a while until it, you know, until this number gets down to as close to zero as possible. Yeah, but I'm still at around 0.8. So I'm gonna just keep checking this throughout the day and even tomorrow until this number gets to as close to zero as possible. And in theory, that's gonna tell me that these batteries have balanced themselves out. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plug up my 12 volt charger. I'm gonna charge them all the way to full. Then I'm going to disconnect all this and wire them in series. And they should be as close to being balanced as I can get it. And I will check back in here when this number gets to be around zero and give an update then. All right, folks, it has been a few hours now and I came back out to check it and I think we're just just about balanced. But now remember these batteries to begin with were pretty close in terms of state of charge so it didn't take very long. But just to confirm I'm going to go test the current and I'm at 0 0.05. Okay. 0 0.06. I'm going to go ahead and call that pretty much balanced. So now I got these two 100 amp hour batteries balanced and what I will do now is take my 12 volt charger and I will charge them all the way back up again just to make sure everything is good to go. So I will connect a positive terminal on the charger to the positive post on this battery and the negative clamp on the battery charger to the negative clamp on this battery to make sure that it charges both batteries and it goes across both batteries. I'm not a battery pro at this, but I think this is going to work out just fine. Why am I doing this? Why am I even going to 24 volt system? Well, there's a lot of reasons people might want to use a 24 volt system and there's a lot of reasons why you don't want to but for me the main reason is this solar hybrid inverter you have to use a 24 volt system but what are the benefits of 24 volt system well you can use a lot thinner gauge cable with 24 volt system so you don't need as big of a cable as you do a 12 volt system and as we all know copper cable is very very expensive and the other main reason is is that using a solar charge controller in my case a victron i can get almost double the amount of watts being input into my solar charge controller on a 24 volt system versus a 12 volt system so i can use more solar panels to charge up my battery on a 24 volt system than I can if I was just using this setup right here, a 12 volt system. Those are my main two reasons. You can use smaller cables. You can have more watts being input from solar into your charge controller on a 24 volt system. And I just think that things run a little better. That's basically my reason for using these Unowix batteries is to create a 24 volt, 100 amp hour battery bank. But again, these are still in parallel. So this is still technically a 12 volt, 200 amp hour battery bank. Once I take these off, so all I'm gonna do is take a small jumper cable and connect it to the negative side on one battery and the positive side on the other battery. And that is going to link these together in series, creating 24 volts. And then the open posts that I have, that's gonna to go to my solar charge controller. So I'm gonna use the open positive and the open negative, put some lugs on some cables and run those directly to my solar charge controller. That's going to be a 24 volt system. That's why I'm doing this. Um, I'll also post a link down below for these Unowix Defender batteries. I've had nothing but good luck with these. I've been using, again, one of these in my storage unit for about a month now. And every time I go in there, it runs fans, it runs my inverter just fine. I, I brought it home four days ago to change out to this 24 volt battery and I did charge it up, but it was at about a 75% state of charge. So I think this little setup's gonna work out just fine for me and what I need. But anyway, folks, that's how I'm gonna go from 12 volt to 24 volt to use my new solar hybrid inverter and to be able to use a larger solar panel array than what I would be able to use if this was just a 12 volt system. So folks, I hope that helped you out just a little bit and uh, thanks for watching and we'll see you soon. Thanks.